Vacations. Alright, anyways. <laughs> Oakland, here we go. first car directly to the car behind me and to this day I'm still trying to learn how to take my foot off the gas pedal you see in every city there lies a little boy or girl with a five dollar dream and a million dollar ambition a fist full of crumpled up paper mache wishes and a mask a mask of uncertainty in those cities that rest in the shadow of I-80 West 5 South 87 North and maybe just east of the Mississippi where dreams are illegal where aspirations are smuggled on the backs of single mothers and latchkey children in the world, moving too fast in a gas pedal glued to the pavement. Too fast for a story to be read. Too fast for an equation to be worked out. And too unforgiving to ask for a second longer. I'm a city boy. Oakland to be exact, a place where you can still smell the aftermath of Oscar Grant in the morning, where you can scrape the DNA of souls and mischief, digital underground, and even remnants of pop from the mic in any studio where you can hear Echoes of Guapalais close, or maybe Curtis Mayfield bumping through the speakers of an 89 Park Avenue, a place where they mistake colors for gods and play Russian roulette with souls, but I would have it no other way. I would say, my city has saved more than it has killed. I would say, we built the city with the coke bricks that they dealt us and protected it with the tech knives they left on the railroad tracks of Sabrani Park back in the 80s. My city, I'm a city boy. The east side of Oakland, the murder capital, crime epicenter, Huey P. Newton, Bobby Seal, Black Panther March, and MC Hammer, Ryman, Loma, Prieta Kraken, Black, White, Asian, Latino, Orange, Yellow, Blue, Brown Skin Folks, Free Thinkers, Free Spirited, Free Love, Expensive Homes, a crossbreed between Brooklyn and Chicago, the offspring of Harlem and Atlanta, conceived in the summertime, so it's always 75 degrees. Cumulus clouds, my city, my city. My city. I don't really mind the drive, but I think I'd rather die in Oakland, in Oakland. With my hands on two and ten, so I guess it all depends on Oakland, on Oakland. And I'm nervous, you be told I never saw me growing old. Numbers don't lie. It's 2 a.m. and there are five fingers pushing needles into the flesh of this notepad. Four stanzas full of pain, three full of hope. Two Mona Lisa-like eyes that have seen some shit in the story that will never make the six o'clock news because I have one too many drops of melanin in my skin. So I'll let this stage be my autobiography. Let this poem be my Woodstock, a glimpse into the Hendrix of my gypsy sun and rainbows when I was seven. I had dreams of being 23, now I'm 27, hoping that five of the 10 players on my team will come together like Oakland and 66 on Telegraph Avenue where the pavement reeks of panther, where people live in one shade of red, where people live like earthworms who come out to enjoy the baptismal pool of the rainfall, but never make it back to the soil in time, not to be burned by the sun that always seems to hold the sky. This, this is the blues that I come from. The story of a not so special kid trapped inside of a world where the blemish of pain equals the brilliance of word, not bond, just words, just you, me, a pen, and an alphabet. I took off my nine to five, but you still don't have the time to kiss me. Just hit me, and if I let you off. 